yeah, it's definitely close to my heart because there's so much history here. <laughs> it's home. Before Lupton did such a great job, I gotta give them credit back in the 70s. And then there's me. So I was born in Loveland, Colorado, um, and my parents made a decision to move to Fort Lupton, Colorado. This is my parents' house. We watched a lot of life go by on that chain link fence. My parents moved there because they wanted me to learn to read, write, speak Spanish because my dad sacrificed that. My dad grew up and graduated from Loveland, Colorado schools where it was not allowed. He was not allowed to speak Spanish. Um, they would punish them for speaking Spanish. All the neighborhood kids, we played in the street. So by moving to Fort Lupton, it was a way of getting it back for us. Yep, house is still there on Harrison Avenue and moving us to a community that was predominantly Chicano, Latino, Mexicano. This one day, my brother and I were playing outside and we looked down the street and there was the Brown Berets and it was a large group of Chicanos, Latinos marching from the La Raza headquarters that were right down at the end of my street where I lived on Harrison Avenue. And my brother and I went running inside and told my mom, mom, there's a parade outside. And she was like, what? And she came outside and she stood by both of us. And I said, see? And the brown berets started passing in front of us. And she put her arms around us and she said, no, mija, that's not a parade. This is history. Ricardo Falcón had been shot. Ricardo Falcón was extremely important during the 70s because of the fact that he was also organizing. And he was organizing along with others t for equal rights, for the Chicanos, for us Latinos, for equal um, equality in schools, equality in our neighborhoods, equality in the workplace. We weren't treated fairly. This is my cousin Esteban Ortega, and he was an activist for the Chicano movement. All of these individuals in their history that I'm surrounded by as a young girl and going to school in Fort Lupton then created me to come back to here as a teacher. Everybody in this picture is a doctor um, and first in their families to receive a doctorate degree. And it's my job then as a teacher to make sure that I teach outside the box so that my students had an opportunity to figure out their identity. And so the stories get lost if nobody tells them. You can learn more about diverse voices in our community making an impact at ninews.com slash voices of change.